Good morning, Gabrielle. Good morning, Grand Rising Love. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And it's that day. It is Twin Flame Tuesday. We're calling this episode Full Circle. Yes. Yeah. So last week we talked about if you, like kind of like the beginning of Twin Flame, we kind of started there. So we're calling this Full Circle because we're going to kind of hit on some of the big heavy points of Full Circle, some of the biggies. But what we want you to understand is don't be hard on yourself if you haven't grasped these yet. Um, you're going to go through them as you go through them. You're going to know them when you know them. And that's the way all of life is. So it, it is a journey. And the Twin Flame journey, also don't feel like you are so different than everyone else because it is, the Twin Flame journey is a model for the journey that everyone is on. So that's why our, our show has been so meaningful to people who they don't know who their twin is, don't believe, even believe in twins necessarily, but they, they see how, but I'm going through this too. So, so yeah, what do you have to say this morning, Gabrielle? Yes, this, the twin flame journey is the model of coming together with your divine feminine and masculine. And it's a beautiful journey within yourself it's a beautiful journey outwards. Even though, you know, we can have those things that look hard and look difficult because we do have this persona of the ego and we can let certain emotions get in the way. <laughs> oh. Let's talk about those emotions yeah. since you brought that up. Okay. Because in the beginning, there was energy. And it was just energy. And then it developed intelligence, conscious awareness, and what did it become consciously aware of? Exactly. Emotions itself. Mm -hmm. And then, in the, right? And, and you froze. Oh, <laughs> I'm right. sorry. No, that's okay. That's a, I'm sure I will before it's over, too. That's the picture of it. Um, it became consciously aware of itself. And so it began learning things and experiencing things. And then, just like we talk all the time about AI becoming consciously aware. And it developed, and, and the, the concern is, well, what if it starts developing emotions? Well, guess what? Energy started getting smart. And then what did it do? It started developing emotions. So that is what we're going through. And our light beings that we are, they're continually expanding consciousness. So they're continually expanding their knowledge base and their emotional intelligence, just as we are. The difference is, they can see from higher dimensions. They can see things that we can't. That's why we let all that full spectrum of energy in. <laughs> yeah, to guide us. So that's why emotions are so important. Emotion is a good thing because the universe values it because that is, that is why we're expanding consciousness. It's for intelligence, yes, but emotional intelligence is an automatic byproduct of intelligence. And I want to, yeah, it is, it really is. And I want to say something on that um, because we have become a society that is so robotic in nature. Yeah. We, we, we shy away from the emotions. Um, we only really want to experience the happy emotions, you know, um, and anything less than that is bad, but we're here to experience the full spectrum of emotions, the full spectrum of life we're here to experience. So with that being said, Try not to look at emotions in a negative connotation way, in a negative way. Um, emotions is, like you said, a part byproduct of intelligence. Um, and they said this expansion of this expansion of intelligence. So we need these emotions, whether they're, you know, whether we're angry or sad. The thing is, is not to get caught in those emotions. The right. emotions are gonna come up. <laughs> Have sovereignty of self. That okay. is one of our big things that we want to talk about. Yeah. So the crystal we got was lapis lazuli. Right. Read what you had about it because okay. what I have, of course, is great. It's about sovereignty has always been about relationships because okay. we're always in relationship and that's true. And you can only find the inner fortitude to raise up in relationships when you embody self fully. But what you had about it is so perfect for this episode so yeah okay so let me read what it says this is from mycrystals.com 
if you want to go look at it. It says, um, the energies of lapis lazuli stone will help you to overcome your shyness and encourage you to come out of your shell. These healing properties can help you identify and bring to the surface those past hurts, traumas, and complications that lead that lead you to your uncertainty or shy behavior and show you how to heal them. So it shows you how to go inside of yourself and do this healing work, which we all need for this whole journey. Absolutely. Because the journey is, as, as we started out, whether you're on the twin flame journey or not, the journey of this life is coming to sovereignty of self, letting go of all these societal programs that we have of what society says we're supposed to do what our ancestral dna has connected to it that says do this do this do this come becoming fully ourselves mm -hmm. and so we have to become fully sovereign of self we have to find our voice imagine that imagine me being connected to something that says you need to find your voice <laughs> I know people know me my whole life said when, when did you not have your voice believe me <laughs> Talking does not mean you have your voice. I know. Singing does. does not mean you have your voice. Often you use what you're saying and 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 singing, et cetera, et cetera, to actually try to use your voice or or show that your voice is having to be hidden. You're trying to get you're trying to get that out. But um the full spectrum of embodiment of our light being, because people think of the white light all the time. We're always talking about the white light, mm -hmm. but white light contains, what does it contain, Gabrielle? Every, the full spectrum. The full spectrum. Full spectrum of light. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a beautiful card. That's Metatron's. It's Metatron, yes. yes. It's the back of every Metatron card. Ima imagine yes. that. Imagine. I know. <laughs> imagine that. Whenever I first got this deck, I, I just, it did not occur to me about Metatron and the the full spectrum of color. But um, think about the movements that talk about unconditional love that are attached to rainbow. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about the full spectrum of color. It's about coming from seeing things from black and white. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding that um, unconditional love, it, it's, it's very accepting. It's very... Yeah, it's and that doesn't mean we're doormats. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean any of that. It means that we don't place conditions on people. We let people come to us as they are mm -hmm. and we love that person or we don't. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that there's not room for growth, that there's not boundaries that we set. That doesn't mean that at all. But it just means we don't find someone say, oh, you're absolutely perfect. Now let me change you. Yeah, no, no. that's that's what unconditional love means. We meet people where they are. We see them where they are. We have, we stand in our sovereignty over ourselves. We see people for what they are, where they are, but we also envision them in their highest potential. And when we do that, we're allowing the energies for them to meet us where we are. It's not about us trying to physically drag someone to come over here with us. It's about us having sovereignty over ourselves, standing our vibration, holding our vibration, them seeing that vibration, they have the same energy inside of them like we have inside of us. Them wanting to or deciding not to come and raise up to that vibration. And when they do decide to, they will come that way. And if they don't, we have to be fine with that. We cannot cord relationships or put hooks in or tie them up or stranglehold and and, he's, and here we're not talking we're not talking literal people although you know we're, <laughs> that's a whole other conversation <laughs> i know right yeah right um, oh, okay we're talking um energetic and if anyone has ever felt an energetic hook or cord Ooh. or whatever or stranglehold even yeah real yeah, very, very real. Energy talks first. <laughs> Energy talks first. That's right. But freedom, that's one of the things we wanted to talk about. And being authentic, all of those things, we need to understand that our, we're always in relationship, whether we want to be in relationship or not. So freedom is being in the right relationships, the right way, uncorded. Freedom is being in relationships, merging, being interconnected, but not losing yourself. As a matter of fact, if you're in the right relationships, who you are 
is so valued that it's celebrated. It's uplifted. It's encouraged. It's it, it, it makes you exponential because mm -hmm. who you are is so valued and you so value who they are. Yeah. And then the two of you together have this thing. Yeah. So it's, it's exponential. Yeah. That's what, it, and that's any relationship, whether it's mm -hmm. with your child, with your parent, with a friend. I mean, mm -hmm. the two of us, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I feel exponential because of my relationship with you. Me too. You know? With you. Right. <laughs> So there is such freedom in that yeah. because I, it's expansive. Freedom is expansiveness. Yeah. It's the opposite of being constricted and confined. Yeah. And, and true, true caring about someone, a true caring relationship. It's not about confining that person. It's not about courting them in and it's not about any or of them. making it's them do anything, you know, no. That's why the whole energy of, you know, if my twin isn't here and then you go off and try to buy love spells to bring them in and stuff like that. You know, we can't force anyone else's energy. Only thing you can do is work on yourself, love yourself, show up in their energy and allow them to work on themselves however it comes and shows about. Letting that full spectrum of you in especially with your twin, but with yeah. anyone that you're supposed to have in your life or anything that's meant to be in your life, letting that full spectrum of you in puts you vibrationally or energetically where you're supposed to be. And that will attract what is in alignment with you. You don't want that person by courting them in, by pulling them in. You want that person because you're in alignment. As much as you want that person, if you're not in alignment, it's not going to go well. And you're going to hurt each other. And that's not what you want. Not what you want. And I'm glad you said that because that goes into how a lot of times people don't even know themselves. Yeah. Yes. So we can't even get to this part of the work if we don't know ourselves. If we don't know our own energy, if we don't know who we are, how do we want to show up? Who do we want to be? Our, all, our own true authenticity. And how you do that is by going inside of yourself, sitting with yourself, having these moments with yourself, discovering you are a whole internal being universe. You have this universe inside of you that you have to discover. Yes, <laughs> right. It's all without, yeah. but it is all within. Mm -hmm. It's like the minute there is something that happens outside, somehow yeah. or another, we get the, the information inside too. Yeah. Everything without is within. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we feel things on a on an energetic level when the moon is in a full moon, or you know, all all the different aspects. It's because of the energies. Energies talk first. Energy is what made this physical reality. You know, it is the physical reality. <laughs> it, it is the physical is reality. Reality. Ma matter is just energy slowed down in a slower vibration. That's it. <laughs> right. I had someone this week talk to me. They were they were trying to like feel the vibrations in stones mm. and. Oh. and they and they were they weren't feeling it. And I said, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not at first. Yeah. And like, well, maybe it's mind over matter. And and I was trying to figure out a way to discuss mind over matter because of course, yes, everything is mind over matter because until we become consciously aware of something, we're not. Until we've tasted chocolate, we haven't tasted it. Until you hold the stone and you accept this has a vibration to it. Everything has a vibration to it. Until you accept that, you're not going to feel it. You're not going to feel it. But yet, you may not consciously accept it. You may just pick it up one day and feel it because you're unconsciously finally there mm -hmm. where you will accept it. Doesn't mean it wasn't there the whole time. It's yeah. kind of like we talked about subtleties earlier. Yeah. I told you that I knew that a huge part of my journey and why some things have been so delayed and, and some of my issues have been. I've never been one that understood subtlety. Yeah, yeah. I don't get subtlety. When somebody is being subtle with me, either I miss it totally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or I think they're playing games with me. Mm -hmm, Why mm -hmm. are they just telling me? Why aren't they just being great? Mm -hmm. And here I read behavioral styles. I teach behavioral styles. Mm -hmm. I understand behavioral styles. But for the life of me, that eludes me so much why somebody doesn't just, I understand being tactful. I understand putting things delicately. Uh -huh. I understand I understand all of those things, mm -hmm. but I don't understand being so subtle that 
someone doesn't get what you're saying. Yeah. And I've had to learn that so much of life is subtle and mm -hmm. how to calm down enough, mm -hmm. calm down enough to catch the subtleties. Because yeah. I was born with my fight, flight, and freeze. Yeah. I was yeah. born with it on. Yeah. And so subtlety, and I never got it. And I'm, I'm getting better at it, mm -hmm. but I still, if I don't do my breathing, if I don't do those things to stay mm -hmm. in this state, in mm -hmm. this state of sovereignty of self, mm -hmm. if I don't stay within, if I don't go within frequently, subtlety gets lost on me mm -hmm. again. So that's a choice I have to make. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought that up about um, subtlety because a lot of times, a lot of us, because we're becoming more consciously aware, we're, we're, we're getting more in tune with our intuition, which when we're in our fight and flight mode, we're more in tune with our instincts. And so to be able to navigate this reality, you have to be able to navigate with both of those energies. And so um, because a lot of us has had, you know, past traumas from generations passed on to us, um, traumas from when we came into the into our life, you know, our parents didn't know they was raised on fight or flight. So it just passed on yeah. down to us. Absolutely. And so we are have to become more aware and be able to learn how to train ourselves to live in the frequency of subtlety. And the reason why I say that too, is because um, like, it's like, you know, it's a lot transpiring in my life right now. And, and, and with that being said, you know, we feel those energies of things transpiring in our life. We feel the vibration of it. And that vibration can show up as one of two ways. If you're not consciously aware, it will show up the feeling in your body as anxiety. Now, if you're not consciously aware of it, you will go into the anxiety state, hyperventilating, whatever else, spiraling out of control. But when you are consciously aware that these are the energies of everything that I've been asking for coming into my life, I'm having to step into those energies so I'm able to bring myself to center, calm that part of myself down and get it into a subtle energy so I can be able to walk these inner, walk these channels with grace. Absolutely. Yeah. Step into the fullness of what you have asked for. Which yeah. could be, uh, wait a second, I asked for this? Yes, I did. And But then we get scared of what yeah. we asked for. We ask for twin flame. I mean, when we meet our twin, we're immediately, everything in us wants that person. Yeah. And so we, we do ask for that. But then how often do they end up running or we end up running yeah. or there ends up being this push-pull going on? And it's because of the intensity of the relationship and not understanding that the intensity of the relationship does not have to create the push pull. The intensity of the relationship can actually, if we can calm ourselves down, if we will go within, calm ourselves down, <laughs> use soda light even use, which looks very much like this stone. Yeah. Light. Yeah. Use, use things to calm ourselves down and let that mirror that, most perfect mirror we've got, you know, yeah. let that mirror actually help us to grow, actually help, let it help us to see the subtleties or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If, if we will do those things, our twin flame journeys can go so much more smoothly, but until we are, until we're there, we're not there. Mm -hmm. um, and we are not, and it's not that we're not there because we don't want to be, it is our societal programming. Yes. If we did not have the societal programming, yes. when we met our twin, that attraction would be, oh my gosh, that is my person, and there we would be. And yes. we would do that. If we understood how to use energy, we yes. would have used that mirroring, and we would have grown into these beautiful relationships of one plus one equals three, where we valued one another, we respected who the other was, and we helped one another by being in a relationship in a mm -hmm. one but mm -hmm. also each being one mm -hmm. and having three, it would be, but we've got all that programming that teaches us to, Oh, that's too good to be true. That can't last. That can't be right. What am I? We, we've got all of those things that bring up, as you say, the fear in us. And that is why we need to let in the full spectrum of light. So we grow past all of that. And, but also we need these, we need to understand the full spectrum of tools. We have all of these, all these wonderful blue stones, um, celestine, that helps us um, connect mm -hmm. above to let in our full spectrum. Mm -hmm. 
the blues are great for that. And they're yeah. also about using our voice too. Yeah. So it, literally if your voice could be having problems, they're, they're great for that. You know, they are. <laughs> but they're, um, they're good for if you need to find words that you want to say. Um, or a fun way to express yourself. So, so the blues are great for Twin Flame Journey. I just now realize how great blues are for Twin Flame Journey. <laughs> they, they're wonderful for speaking your truth and speaking it with an authentic, uh, an authentic layer um, instead of, because a lot of times when we speak our truth, when we're trying to find that balance, um, it can come from a place of anger or whatever else. And it's okay. Don't judge yourself because you're trying to find your balance. This is all a learning game. Think of it that way. We're all learning ourselves. We're all experiencing. I did something the other day and I was like, and I, and I caught myself for a minute. I said, no, I don't, I don't live in that energy. I don't beat myself up. Cause this is like, for me, I look at it as a kid exploring. We are, we haven't been taught how to work with energy. We haven't been taught we're energetic beings. So we're legitimately exploring who we are, what we are at our core, and we're navigating those energies and finding the balance, the center. Like you said earlier, the fight and flight mode, that's been my life too, either up or down. And I've always said to myself, why am I all, why am I the all in or all out? And yeah. and my biggest, my biggest challenge along this journey has been finding balance. And the more that I step into that balance, the more calmness, the more serenity, the more flow comes into my life. And that's the beautiful part of the individual journey as well as the twin flame journey. Which is all about forgiving yeah. ourselves, forgiving everything around us, yes. forgiving the twin, yeah. if you know your twin or divine counterpart, however you want to term it. Um, so we hear the phrase so often that, you know, forgiveness is for yourself. What, why do we say that? It's because unforgiveness is dense energy so you may think that you're getting even with someone you may think you're being clever smart whatever by holding on to unforgiveness you may even think you're protecting yourself by holding on to unforgiveness or like i said showing that person but you're not anything in your life that is denser energy and you're holding on to it you're weighing your own energy down. Yeah. And how's that affect us, affect us, Gabrielle? It affects us in our whole vibrational being. If you're holding on to negative energies from either your twin doing something or anyone else or whatever else has transpired, and you don't release that energetic pull on you, that hold that emotion, energy and motion that's supposed to move, not seeing your body, it causes a vibrational effect in your body. We're vibrational, we're energy and vibration. So they can show up as illnesses. It can show up as all kind of things in your in your your love life and your financial life. It can show up in every aspect of your beingness because you are a human being being in this reality. Absolutely, absolutely. Anytime we hold on to density, anytime we are energetically stuck anywhere, mm -hmm. we are preventing ourselves from having. Even if it doesn't show up. Maybe our finances are doing great. Mm -hmm. Maybe we think our life is doing great. We are missing out on things we're supposed to have. Energy is never meant to be stuck. Stuck is what causes the physical pain. Yeah. 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 I've, I have friends who have fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. and they ask me how I'm dealing so well with the pain. I still have tons of fatigue to deal with. I have mm -hmm. to, I, I don't sleep well still. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to nap during the day, all of those things. I'm still bad. But you're active too now, because you do a I, lot of stuff. I do, I do, I do a lot. <laughs> but the way, the way I've managed the pain is I don't stay energetically stuck. That's it. That is That's how it. I manage the pain. Yeah. Pain is when we are energetically stuck. Yeah. And when somebody has pain, you can't tell them that because that sounds like you're blaming them. Because believe me, I know, I know how many people would tell me, well, you cannot hurt if you would think differently. Well, it's not even about thinking differently. Again, until you are consciously aware, you're not consciously aware. Yeah. So until you understand that dis-ease in our body, discomfort, mm -hmm. dis-ease, yeah. Yeah. Um shows up as disease. disease. As a disease. Yeah. As a as a disease. 95% of 
of diseases are emotional based. Right. And so if you're having physical pain in your body, now granted, if you sit at your desk doing eight weeks of social media work, your back's probably going to start hurting. And, but, but I can even relate that back to yeah. it's, that is not my behavioral style to do that for somebody else. So I have created stuck emotional energy, which therefore leads me to also then be stuck physically. Mm-hmm. So I've created a, a, negative energy loop for myself Mm -hmm. so my energy is not moving correctly my physical body is not moving correctly i've created a dis-ease state for my body i've created pain again i've put myself back into a pain state by doing that so that is where pain comes from yeah but until until somebody accepts that they don't accept it Mm -hmm. and so and we can we simply have to find what that is and release what that is but you can't you can't make someone see that either until they're ready to feel that and experience that and understand that and just go within. And the beauty of, of releasing the things that causes pain is for some people, given their behavioral styles, they do need to know exactly what it was, especially if it was a specific trauma. Sometimes mm-hmm. we have to work through those traumas. Mm-hmm. But a lot of it is past life stuff. Yeah. Or it's so long ago that we really don't have memory of it. So mm-hmm. you don't have to work through it. Mm-hmm. All we have to do is just find it somewhere in the energetic memory, mm-hmm. acknowledge it, mm-hmm. and just I, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. I don't want to have I don't want to hurt there anymore. I don't want to yeah. hurt I don't want to hurt here anymore. I, yeah. I don't want to hurt anymore. Yeah. And so whatever this is, you know, whether it was how it was spoken to or wasn't spoken to how I was manhandled by Mm -hmm. something, whatever, I just, I forgive it, Mm -hmm. forgive it all. Mm -hmm. Your part in it, Mm -hmm. whether your part was that you just haven't acknowledged it until now. Yeah. 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 Forgive it, let it go. And the more you do this, the more you let go, the less pain you have. The less pain you have and the easier it gets. And I want to, and the, the, I want to say something about the easier it gets because it's not saying that the work is the work that's coming your way is going to get easier. It's saying that you're going to be able to handle because me and you know as we do this energetic work, we're first of all healing things in this lifetime, and as we get deeper, we start healing our lineages, we start healing the collective. It's the some planet. deep in, the planet. It's some the deep planet. internal healing that goes on. And it is physically draining. I mean, some of the I, I'm now dealing with physical dis-ease from moving <laughs> energy that is cosmic energy. But that is who I am and what I'm supposed to do. And I accept that with such peace because I know it's who I am. Yeah. You know, we were talking earlier. You were talking earlier about people who um, say they love their jobs but seem miserable in them yeah 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 um go ahead and so many people that's not even aware because so many people is not even aware of themselves because like i said we live in a society that has been that has programmed us to not sit with yourself if you're sitting down you're being lazy it's always in the it's always in the masculine energy of go 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 it hasn't nurtured the feminine aspect of ourselves which we're both we're all feminine and masculine it had nurtured the feminine aspect of ourselves when we need to sit and relax and ease when we need to receive those intuitive informations and and on all that it comes with the feminine aspect so yes a lot of people that i talk to and i'm like they like they love their job but then when they talk about doing the work it's like draining i'm like I don't even get paid as much money as y'all do. And I love my work and it rares me up to get up in the morning, you know? So that's right. because I found my purpose. I found what I came here for. When you go inside of yourself, your soul knows what you want to express, how you want to express it. It is our duty to go inside and discover that. Absolutely. And that is the twin flame journey. That is what it's about. When we do those things, If our twin is here and we come across them, and if they're here, we're going to come across them. um, We're going to get together then. You know, every time we heal, they heal some. So just be who you are and have the best life you can have. 
and be happy for what your life is and know that somewhere out there you're helping somebody else heal because you're not just helping your twin heal. Mm-hmm. Every time we're in our vibrational frequency we're supposed to be in, that means we're showing up at all the places we're supposed to so that everyone else that is depending on our frequency, because everyone is, we're mm-hmm. all in relationship. Everyone else is getting what they're supposed to get, not just the twin. And we don't get what we're supposed to get unless everyone else is doing that. That is what wholeness and oneness is. That is why we have to be whole and complete in and of ourselves, sovereign over self. And it is unselfish to do because that's how everyone gets what they're supposed to have. Yeah. It's why we're supposed to be real with ourselves. And it's about, I love this, we're talking about the color spectrum. And a lot of people see, when they think of white, there's the silvery white Mm -hmm. of the moon, the Mm -hmm. fullness of the moon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to love how I'm doing this because (laughs) um, the moon often signals a completion, a cycle, an ending, and a new beginning. Um, Invoke the silver ray to purify the past. And to clear the way for a bright new future, illuminated by silver's truth and clear direction. Archangel Metatron's at the full color spectrum. Yeah. It's all in white, but his silver ray protects us at all times. No one can be uh, have any harm befall them if you ask for his light all the spectrum of light and Archangel Metatron, of course, is one of the energetic beings who is here to, to help us. It's just one of the energetic beings. Um, never fear the dark <clears throat> and use the silver ray for beginnings and endings uh, because every ending is just pushing you on to a new beginning. Mm-hmm. Whether you're ending a pattern in yourself or whether you're ending kind of something that you're doing and you're going to change it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that leads us into what's going on now. (laughs) This is our last Twin Flame Tuesday episode for this season. This season. I know. I know. I know. I know. I I was like, oh my goodness. No. But so we have so much going on. Um, I know last week when we came on here, we talked about, um, you know, particularly changing the format, doing 20 minute segments, 20, 30 minute segments, and then going that way. But we have so many episodes right now that with so much knowledge and so much information that you can go back and look at. So we're looking at, we're, we're, we're branching off in so many new arenas in both of our businesses. Um, I am doing a lot of user generated content, um, different aspects to even help the twin flame channel even grow even more. Sure. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to end season one and we come back for season two, it's going to be on and popping. <laughs> I know. And I'm looking forward to that too. We will both <laughs> have other projects that will have been well into, into fruition yeah. that will contribute to season two greatly. Yeah. And um, I know, but I, I don't know what we're going to do. To, we're going to have to have coffee together on Tuesday yeah. morning. I mean, yeah, no. gonna, I know, but you know, but never, but you know, we since we're we are we're so impromptu. Make sure you be on the lookout because we might have an impromptu section that comes up when we're Absolutely. downloading information from Spirit. You never know. You don't know with Gabrielle and I because we are very much that. I mean, it's it's like, girl, what are you doing? And and we are we I, we we have got I've got copious notes that we've done where we've talked. I mean, all kinds of things. Um, because Gabrielle and I we our energies play off of each other all the time. And so you all may not see it, but um, Gabrielle and I actually do a lot of work together. And and we are, the universe uses us in tandem a lot because of who our energetic light beings are. Mm-hmm. Energetically, we are very connected. And so we work in tandem a lot. And um, so us not being here every Tuesday doesn't mean that nothing is going on and that there, we're not continuing to build and have for you all. And if you have questions, of course, reach out and we'll pop on and answer those too. But uh, yeah, as far as just a regular schedule of the episode, yeah, we're not going to be doing that for a while. We're taking a bit of a hiatus. Yeah, we're taking a bit of a hiatus to bring more energy, to bring more, to bring more energy, financial energy, everything into the project so we can grow as a whole and be able to learn how to be able to navigate these energies of the Twin Flame Union. Because like we said before, 
the motto is the twin flame model for everything. It is. Everything we talked about, we may not have used the word twin flame through all of that very yeah. often. But everything you're doing, whether you've met your twin yet or not, whether you're with your soulmate, whether you're by yourself right now, if you're by yourself, you're by yourself preparing yourself to be with someone because you're never really by yourself. <laughs> We're all, it's synergistic. We are all, everything we do reverberates out. Every action we take, every action we don't take, there's someone somewhere who's waiting for you to be at a certain place, to do a certain thing. The greatest gift, the greatest gift you can ever give the world is showing up and being who you're supposed to be. True authentic authenticity. That is the greatest gift you can ever, ever, ever. Where did the card go? Here it is. It's, um, oh, well, I don't know what I did with it. It was be real. I dropped it. <laughs> That, that is it. That is the greatest gift we have to give the world. People want to know, what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? You know, what's my purpose? Be real. And I and I actually have, if you follow on TikTok, I actually have a video that helps you to be able to go over how to discover your soul's purpose. Um, you have to go inside of yourself, love yourself. It's a whole video on that, um, on how to ask different questions to ask yourself to discover your soul purpose. Because when you start going inside of yourself, asking yourself these questions, your unconscious mind, yourself, is going to give you these answers. It wants to give you these answers so you can start embodying that energy. And the thing we have to do is release all of those things that, that cause us to doubt it, yeah. it away, yeah. not give energetic space yeah. and within our lives for it. That is one of the biggest things that with um, any aspect of our lives, you have to give energetic bandwidth for the new to come in. Yeah. And that is why we have had to in season one and yeah. is to give energetic bandwidth for new things to come in so we can bring you more later. Yeah. So there's plenty of content. We have got tons of content. People can certainly go back and see the other episodes. We've covered everything that you can imagine, Twin Flame. Yeah. But um, I know we will have new, fresh ways to say it, new things to bring. And we're constantly being channeled new things. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Information about divine counterparts and, and what that means and, and their difference in terminology. That's just the new stuff that you don't even know that I've been channeled yet. We haven't talked about we that. Talked about yet. We haven't talked about that yet. So that's <laughs> a teaser for the next, that's a teaser for the next season. Is that I've been channeled that there's a difference between divine counterpart and twin flame. You know, this the the twin flame super couples. Yeah. That's the divine counterparts. There's twin flame, which is amazing, mm -hmm. but there are select divine counterparts which is i know i know i got that a couple weeks ago and we haven't had it we've talked about so much and haven't had a chance had to go there, so I there's a teaser wait. folks there's, yeah, there's a teaser for, for next so, season yeah we're at 37 minutes i mean it just I, so, so i know so with that being said if you need to reach out to any of us for either for me for a twin flame coaching for um spiritual mindset coaching or anything the link will be below um and Masha, what about your wow. We're still looking for Twin Flame authors if you want to tell your story. Um, I'm doing Chiron this month, uh, probably the last Thursday, and probably, I haven't decided for sure. Every Thursday night, I lead a guided meditation live. Um, that is really a wonderful thing, you know. Uh, so if you can show up for that, the Zoom link is always up that day um, on Facebook, on YouTube. So show at TikTok, I put it mm -hmm. there too. Mm -hmm. Those are wonderful. But also, um, I work with people too. Um, you know, just reach out to me. I'm very happy uh, to work with people individually. I love um, guiding people with, with meditation mostly. I, I just guide people to find their own answers because your answers are within you. I, I don't have your answers. You do. But the thing is, um, sometimes we need help getting there. Sometimes we need help getting out of our own way. Yeah. Out of mind's way. <laughs> out of mind's way. That is exactly it. Exactly. And letting all that light in. Yes. 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 Girl. Oh, yes. I know. I know. I know. We didn't make it to the zoo either. Your tennis shoes are in my car. <laughs> I know. And I still, got, I still have your thing, too. Your I know. I know. So I, I see lunch coming. <laughs> I know. I see lunch coming, too. But be on the lookout for next season. We'll be study keeping you updated. I'll be study posting content to be able to bring... Um, more people back to the channel so they can learn more about the Twin Flame Union. Some people are just coming into this, just discovering um, what the Twin Flame Union is about. And it's more than just 
oh, I've met my lover of the divine counterpart and we're going to live so happily ever after. Um, and they're not listening to me. It's so much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to be twin flame not to be yes. listening yes. as a matter of fact the twin is going to listen yes they're they're listening even if they're not listening yes. they're listening when you live your life your best life possible yes well if your your twin is here or passed over the same information the same energy applies yeah, yeah. all right girl Love you so much and love everyone that has come to season one that has been with us along this journey. And I can't wait for season two and the expansion, the energy, the expansion of season two. <laughs> Me too. All right, you all. Have Bye, a wonderful everyone. day. Peace and love my twin flame, my spirit.